53-year-old Mike Tyson talking about a comeback in exhibition boxing matches for charity is one thing. Seeing him completely destroy the pads is a whole other thing. The training video Iron Mike posted on Instagram has gone viral in 2020, with everyone talking about it. For example, President Donald Trump tweeted about it, telling Mike to keep punching. Oscar De La Hoya said, if he trains for 12 rounds, Mike will knock out any of today's leading heavyweights. Boxing commentator Max Kellerman said, oh, George Foreman started his comeback the same way and wound up fighting for the heavyweight championship of the world. And if Mike Tyson were to do something like that, it would be even more fantastical. And the, the problem with an exhibition with Mike Tyson is it's not like Ali, he's going to clown, he's going to take it easy on the guy. Listen, why don't we just move around a little bit, you know, like give a good show, first I'll chase you and you chase me, okay? Mike Tyson only has one speed. So if you're getting in against Tyson in an exhibition, it's like uh, Rocky Balboa against Hulk Hogan, Thunderlips and Rocky Three. you know, he's, <laughs> that's the name of the game, right? He's going to hurt you. The guy holding the pads in the video said, as soon as we started training, I said, my lord, I didn't know what to expect from a guy who hasn't hit mitts for, I think, almost 10 years. So I didn't expect to see what I saw. I saw a guy with the same speed, the same power as a guy who's 21, 22 years old. Now seeing Mike Tyson move like this is absolutely incredible. It'd be like seeing Michael Jordan dunk from the free throw line in his 50s. The guy holding the pads in the viral video, by the way, is Rafael Cordera, the head coach at King's MMA in California. He's well known in the fight world. For example, during his own career as a fighter, he became a Brazil's Muay Thai champion, as well as an international Valtido championship winner in the lightweight division. He's actually found even more success as a coach and has trained several prominent UFC fighters such as Kelvin Gastelum and Rafael de Sanos. In other words, the comments he makes about Mike Tyson can be considered a very legitimate endorsement when he says things like, Tyson would only need another five months to be ready for a genuine pay-per-view comeback fight. Speaking of the comeback fight, an offer has already been presented by Brian Amatruda, an Australian boxing matchmaker, who reached out to Mike Tyson's camp with an offer after seeing the viral video. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Amatruda says, the first thing I did was contact celebrity agent Max Markson and ask him to offer Tyson <laughs> One million dollars. Amatrude said he believes Barry Hall, Paul Gallen, and Sonny Bill Williams, all of whom are former rugby stars turned boxers, could be potential opponents for Mike Tyson. He might be 53 years old, but he's still a huge name, Amatrude says, and any of those blokes, Hall, Gallen, or Sonny Bill, would jump at the chance to get into the ring with him. He goes on to say, I'd hold it at Melbourne Arena, where we'd get over 10,000, or even Princess Park, where they get 30,000 in attendance. It would be enormous, not just a fight, it would be an event. Here's a quick stack breakdown on those possible opponents, by the way. Barry Hall is the largest man in this group, standing 6'4 and weighing 229 pounds. He's 43 years old and has had one fight against Paul Gallen, which was a draw. Speaking of Paul Gallen, Paul Gallen stands at 5'11, weighs 229 pounds, so he's the closest to Tyson's size, but only 38 years old. He's 9-0 with 5 KOs in that one draw we mentioned with Barry Paul. Now, Sonny Bill Williams is 34, 6'3", 238 pounds. He's got a boxing record of 7-0 with three wins coming by knockout. Mike Tyson is 5'10", fought between 217 and 223 in his prime. He's currently 240 pounds and looks to be in very good shape, especially considering at one point during his retirement from boxing, he was 140 pounds overweight. And of course, what people are really fixated on is his age, 53. So what do you guys think about these three potential opponents and his comeback in general? Let me know in the comments below.